Hello there, Star Wars fans and collectors, and welcome back to another Star Wars fig review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Black Series Jedi Revan from Galaxy of Heroes. This is from the game Galaxy of Heroes, and I actually used to play the game, and I believe I did pl play a Jedi Revan when I, um, you know, played the game. I didn't unlock the character, but I played it as, um, it, it was one of like, one of those, um, things where you could, you know, um, borrow certain characters, or if you played a certain, uh, trial or whatever, you can play, you know, play as, uh, different characters, and one of the characters that I used was Jedi Revan, uh, I don't remember too much, because that was a while ago, I kind of stopped playing those games because of time, and phone storage, but yeah, so I bought this figure loose, so I don't have the packaging on me, but he does come with all the accessories that he, um, originally came with, that being his purple lightsaber blade, or no, let me rephrase that, uh, it comes with a lightsaber hilt and his purple lightsaber blade that t attaches to the hilt. You can also detach it as well. And this is the same saber that came with the Black Series Darth Revan. And that was a saber that came along with the red lightsaber. And this figure is a, f well, this review is a follow-up to my Darth Revan review because I feel like it uh, it would make sense for me to re review this after the Darth Revan review. And uh, yeah, so articulation that Revan has is... Uh, just he has a ball joint at the upper torso right here, right here. He also has some movement down here by his waist. I, I want to say it swivels. He also has hinge, um, el sorry, I'm sorry, hinge shoulders, hinge elbows, hinge wrists, hinge uh, hips, swivel upper thighs. He also has uh, hinge knees and hinge ankles. The detailing on the figure is great. I think they did a great job with the paint application, the sculpting. And let's do a quick 360 of the figure. The bottom par portion right here is uh, soft goods fabric, whereas everything else is plastic. And again, the sculpting looks great. They also did a great job with the you know, sculpting on the legs and the paint applications in detail. So that looks nice. And this is another great figure. I'd probably give this Probably 9 out of 10, I don't think it's the best figure or a perfect figure, let alone a superb figure, but it's still a great figure to have in your collection. I was fortunate enough to get this for 20 bucks, given that this figure is kind of expensive on the market, and 20 bucks was probably the cheapest um, price I could find for this guy. And, uh, yeah. And, again, great figure to have, and this is, a, a, again, a follow-up to my Darth Revan review, and if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. And with that being said, thank you for watching as always. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell icon, and I will see you in the next video. May the force be with you, and have a great rest of your day or night. Bye.